KCTK Radio proudly presents the Week Review. Hey, you know what, guys? This right here, this rambling, boring conversation containing already made before observations, this could be a podcast. Huh, it's actually not a bad idea. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Is it happening? Are we doing it now? Awesome. You're the reason that we do what we do. Music and talk, it's all for you. Now the guys who are lots of fun for making you laugh, they're number one. They review the week just for you. So get ready for Paul and Drew. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack all up in your face. Join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew starring Jack, who's all up in your face. Yeah, that's right. I'm Paul. That's Drew. Jack's never here. <laughs> Actually, he came by the other day. This is the show where we talk about things from last week and the things that may happen next week. And yes, it's very weak. It's known as the sh- other show where non-interesting people never try to act interesting and where everything's made up and the points don't matter. You can join the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We welcome your participation. We broadcast live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. You can listen to us online at kctkradio.com. Or you can watch us on the Facebook Live page. But it's easier to use the KCTK Radio smartphone app. If you don't have it, get it right now. It is free. And it has all of the past podcasts on there as well. Plus, you can watch all the past adventures on YouTube at the KCTK Radio pa- channel whenever you want. That's not all. This program is offered as a podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, SoundCloud, Podbeam, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Himalaya, Pandora, Over. Cast Stitcher, Instagram, even have Alexa, ask Alexa to play KCTK Radio on Apple Podcasts or everywhere you get your favorite podcasts. Welcome to the program. It's Thursday night. We would not miss a Thursday night, not just because someone doesn't feel it or someone's too tired or someone has nothing to add. We're going to, we haven't done a one in a while, so we're going to adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. It did nothing. It did nothing. So we have our regular program. We have um, some fun things. We have uh, basically the staple of the program. We have our commercial reviews. That's a lot of fun. And also, as always, I found something in the news that you need to be worried about. But with that said, here he is, the man of the hour, the guy that makes it all happen. Here is the Droosh. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Droosh, a.k.a. Beef and Broccoli, a.k.a. Combo Fried Rice. Whoa. Food. Yes. Food. Yeah. There we go. Had to adjust your Suck camera it. as well. That's right. Uh, still don't feel good about it. I like it. I don't know if it's you even, you, even got, you even got Batman in the background for me. Like, I don't know if it's capturing you. Is hurtful. it capturing you? Yeah, it's, it's capturing something. Okay, so what's been going on? Oh, nothing sorry, much, what's man. Been going on? So, uh, just living with this unbearable heat. We also last Sunday had Quinn's third birthday. You did, yes. KCTK was very nice in uh, providing a space. Yes, and I am in debt to them now, about a hundred grand. KCTK sponsors Quinn. Yeah. But now I owe them a hundred grand, which is gonna be apparently no. taken out of my check. No, she brings in the enough of the listeners that it's a it's a good deal for us to sponsor an up and coming artist like Quinn. That's fair. A dancer for sure. Absolutely. So uh, also comedian. Yeah, comedian. She's got some funny bits. Yeah. What's her What's her best bit? Oh, her best bit is Coco Melon. I want to uh, watch Coco Melon. No, no, no. Her best bit is taking a bat and then racking her dad with it. Oh, I'd love that. That's yep. always so that's funny. That's happened, and it did happen. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, uh, over at the KCTK uh, Entertainment Complex, 
she's she, training. She had a, she she's had training a, now. She no, she had a party. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what you did. I'm not going to give you any credit because I that would mean other people would have to take blame <laughs> for the same type of thing. But you have some very good nephews. Yeah. I don't know what that's like. <laughs> they 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 were having a a uh, really an awesome time. They're having a great time. Yeah. Those kids. If you give them a pool, that's all they need. Yeah. They'll find they'll find the fun. And your niece Avery, who is fourteen, going on thirty five. Yeah. Um, she was sitting over there where I was. Yeah. And uh, I said, uh, "Are you having fun at the party?" And she goes, "Well, you just keep rambling on. I guess I I have to listen to you." <laughs> I thought that that should be like a a thing for our podcast. <laughs> yeah. He just keeps rambling on. We should probably listen to him. That sounds about right. So that's what I say every time when nobody's listening to the Drush. I'm like, you should be. She was precocious. She very. showed a very lack of uh, respect for her elders, and it was hilarious to me. Yeah. Yep. So that's Avery. Yeah. And wh- right. what'd she get? What did uh, Quinn get for her birthday? So Anything Quinn good? got quite a few things. Okay. Um, she got uh, kinetic sand. Kinetic is that from Uncle Brent? Yeah. Okay. So this kinetic sand, it's like it, uh, it's really hard to explain. Is it? <laughs> it's a science experiment or something? Or what well, is it? like kids can play with it, but it like all stays together, so it's not like real sand. It's it's weird. You is can it, make like a ball out of it. And, is it an educational toy? I guess. Oh man, only uh, only Uncle Brent would give her an educational toy. <laughs> What a nerd. Uh, then her grandparents also got her some educational toys, which what? involved the alphabet. Um, bubbles. Okay, bubbles are good. Um, sh- her grandfather got her a uh, unicorn uh, pool that you connect to with a hose, and it like, squirts out water and Oh, stuff. that's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so she got quite a few things. And an iPad. Uncle Paul. Who who gave her an iPad? My gram, Her grandmother. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. From It's like a Kindle. For kids. Oh, okay, like yeah. a little thing. Okay, yeah. uh, and then Uncle Pool yeah, got Uncle Poole her the Coco Melon uh, swimsuit, yeah. which she wore and loved. Pink and frilly. Yep. Uh, already trying to um, guide her gender identity very quickly. I don't feel like you're woke enough to be doing that. Yeah. Okay. She loved it though. She did. She? she did. She really did. Yeah. Yeah. She had a great time at her little party. She sure did. She mm-hmm. sure did. And uh, it was funny. My parents both did the Irish goodbye, which was hilarious. <laughs> I wasn't even offended. I was like, that's impressive. I'm assuming they went somewhere together. <laughs> now, did you have... I didn't see the cake. Yeah. It was huge. It must have been huge because whoever was doling out the cake was was like... It's a four... Someone t- called it... Was it, a, it was four... It had four layers. Yeah. Someone called it a uh, Flintstone cake. <laughs> you know, the big ribs that Fred gets. Oh, yeah. Only old people know that reference. But, I think it sounds like Uncle Steve said that. <laughs> yeah, old yeah. person. Old person said that. So Yeah. Yeah, I, I I thought the cake was good. I wasn't asked to make a cake, so I mean And how many times have I asked you to make a ding dong cake? I made a ding dong for ding dong one time. What's yeah. up, player? What's up? Um Yeah, I pl- I made it for uh what's his name? Jack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. the guy that says Run real fast, bro. Or, or yeah, I'm fucking real fast. <laughs> He's fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. Yeah, yeah. He is. yeah. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> still fast as fuck, boy. Look at some. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. Yeah, so <laughs> that sounds good. just like Jack. Yeah. So I had God lunch with him the other day, and he just, I said, come over, bring over the ladder. I need you to climb up and put some lights up for wow, me. Wow, he can actually get on a roof? I can't he's, do that. He, I hate heights. He climbs ladders well. He didn't. I, I he just came over and asked for a book. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I was like, I hate heights. Yeah. In fact, the book, I've sold one copy so far, I know, that I haven't <laughs> given away. But you need a book? Yeah. And you need, will you go get it to I your dad? I want the book after we've made the changes. Oh, okay. Will you, will you get one to your dad then? Yeah, of course. Okay. I forgot to give him one the other day. So, yeah. Uh, what have I been doing? Nothing. <laughs> I... Um, I feel like you've been a recluse lately. No. Uh, I had to go downtown yesterday. Just downtown. I was walking down the street the other day. Somebody stopped you? And I ran into, that's right, you know him, you love him, the Y dude. Yeah. Yeah. He's got this really, he's got these cool frames now and this 
beard. Nice. He's growing out the beard? Well, only in the chin. It, it looks groovy. It looks hip. So he looks like he should be at a jazz bar. Yes. Hanging out. Totally. That's exactly what he looks yeah. like, the Y dude. Yeah, yeah. Now, he's moving. Oh, where's he he's moving? He's got the big move this weekend. He where's said he going? He's moving to um, the Paseo and Emmanuel Cleaver Parkway, around there. So he's riding Paseo, huh? Yep. I call it Rib Tech area. That's nice. what I call it. Nice. And he's moving, and he said he's unable to participate in the program a lot of times. Yeah. And I said, yeah, how dare you? Yeah. I'm because, we have, because we haven't, yeah. you know, done a show in the last two weeks. How yeah. dare he not right. participate? So I have some good news. I'm moving. Um, I'm going to be in the last comic standing in California. Are you? No, that's all lies. Uh, probably just going to move over where my dad lives. You're going to live with dad? No, I'm going to live over where my dad lives. I'm not living with my dad. Okay. Okay, I'm a grown-ass man, and I'll have my own place. Okay. When do you, When's the move? I don't know. They're still waiting on evictions. So wah, you're not moving. <laughs> hey, speaking of stuff, I, I wanted to bring this up. Let's hear it. Um, oh, is this a disclaimer? No, I just, I, as I prepare for the show, I have a couple stories I want to talk about, but I saw this one come come across the wire. That's hot off the press. Yeah. So Printer. I guess you can call this like a special news report. Okay. Because I'm interested in your reaction to this. Catholic Monsignor, who wanted to deny Biden communion, resigns after cell phone links him to gay dating app. What? Wah, wah. Joe Biden has been a open about his Catholic faith. The president regularly attends Sunday Mass and credits his family in helping him get through the worst times in his life. Like Biden, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi is also a faithful Catholic. She angrily attacked Donald Trump last year when he questioned her faith. Recently, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops voted to approve a document concerning the Sacrament of Communion. The measure would prevent politicians like Biden and Pelosi who have voted to allow abortion rights from receiving the Holy Sacrament. Mm. You heard about this, right? Yeah. Well, I thought it was BS and terrible and it's really important to the president. He's probably the most Catholic. He's certainly the most Catholic president we've ever had. I mean, we've only had two. I don't know. JFK was, well, he was still banging chicks right. in the office. And right. He was Catholic. Yeah, I would say he <laughs> Biden is. And, and probably you can't think of anyone who practiced Catholic more than him. Now, you, you, I think you grew up Catholic, didn't you? I grew up Catholic. Yeah. I am not Catholic. I grew up Catholic. I don't think it's fair to call myself Catholic anymore, although I do believe in Jesus, unlike you. <laughs> so the, Oh, the con man? Oh, look at that face. It's so fun every time I say it. <laughs> that's wrong. It's really wrong. Okay, so anyway, the General Secretary, Monsignor Jeffrey Brewer, read the voting results to the conference back in June. Burrell has now resigned from his position after cell phone data revealed that he used the gay dating app Grinder. Nice. And regularly visits gay bars. The allegations against Burr were originally reported by the Pillar, a Catholic news service. The site reports a mobile device correlated to co- correlated to Burr. Burr, 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 Burr emitted app data signals from the location-based hookup app Grinder on a nearly daily basis. Good for this guy. <laughs> Part of 2000. 18, 2019, and 2020 at both the U.S. CCB offices and his residence, as well as during U.S. CCB meetings and other events. So he's sitting in the meeting saying that Joe Biden's a terrible person and can't get communion while he's cruising for some ass. <laughs> it, you know, I'm glad to see that Aaron Burr has found a way to be um, <laughs> and then Jeffrey free. Burr, Burr. Oh, 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 oh Aaron, uh, Jeffrey Burr. I'm glad to see that he's, you know, been able to be free now. Honestly, this is probably the best thing that ever happened to him because now he can finally be open and be like, you know what? Guess what, guys? I'm gay. Get over it. Well, see, the problem, here's the problem. It's, it's not, hypocrisy. The problem Absolutely. is not that he's Catholic and they have the rules. It's not that he's gay and he's unable to do his thing. It's that 
he calls out someone else for not right. acting Catholic enough. It sounds like there's some uh, subconscious uh, po- pointing yes. finger kind of thing. He really should be like, hey, world, this is me. This is my blood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And guess what? It's probably not his finger he's pointing at. Nope. It's his dick. <laughs> See, so what yeah, is a he, good Anthony com- Weiner all fucking sudden now? He's throwing his dick. <laughs> a good comedian wouldn't have to go that far. You would know what I was talking about. So I... I, I thought, thought Tom Segura would have gone that far. I thought maybe a, a uh, stronger reaction from you I would get, but I guess not. No, because nothing surprises me anymore, You're Paul. not surprised by that I'm at not all. surprised by anything anymore. I'm not surprised in the fact that uh, the Fox News talks about Chick-fil-A being a Democratic uh, conspiracy. It's like, what the fuck are you even talking They're about? They're not even open on Sunday. And who gives a fuck? What, what? It's a goddamn restaurant. Who gives a shit? It's delicious. They're also homophobic. Yeah, they but are. But is that going to stop me from eating their chicken? Probably. Probably not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's a little bit of news. I thought I would start there and then. Because if I boycott every place, Paul, I would never have anywhere to eat. Good point. I mean, it really is the case. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so here's the news of the Drush. Anyway. Wow. There's some insight there for you. So anyway, I found something funny. And oh, I thought boy. you would enjoy it. Don't set it, it up like that. Cause, All right. Yeah. These 12 internet hoaxes had everyone questioning what was real and what was fake. Oh, I love it. All right. So we're going to start from 12, okay? Yeah. And I know you probably don't have a number for that when you're number five kind of thing. No, I don't. <clears throat> it's okay. So number 12, there's a picture. See that dog? You see that? See that right there? Okay. That's a dog? Yeah. Holy crap. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. Because there's a horse on the other side of that picture. Yeah, it's as big as the horse. Jesus. So anyway, Hercules was just a Photoshop dog. Hercules, a, Hercules, 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 Hercules. When a photo appeared of a woman walking her horse alongside a man with a dog named Hercules, the collective internet freaked out. The internet hoax claimed that Hercules weighed 282 pounds and was as tall as a horse. A lot of people fell for it since the photo was believable, although it's force, hard. Force. Per, per, what? Force, perceptive, perspective. Or are you just um, put an outline around him and just enlarge oh, him. That's it's really, good. Okay. It's pretty easy. Um, although it's hard to imagine that a man could handle such a dog on a basic leash. Yeah, you can, also, you can, you, that don't mean nothing. You can use a basic leash on a dog. Oh, like absolutely. That. I agree. You just train Especially it. if you've trained it well. Yeah. It's just your buddy. It's yeah. your giant buddy. Yeah. Here's Thank my, you. The, yeah. That's how I want people to call yeah. me from now on. Giant buddy. Um, also, I want to make everything clear that on this list, this also shows how stupid fucking people are. Okay? I just uh-huh. want to also make that clear because the Jewish has to be real about that, you know? So, 11, is that a shark swimming down a highway? Leave it to Sharknado because that's the only place you're really going to see a shark cutting th- right through the asphalt. When Hurricane Laura tore through Texas and Louisiana in 2020, a photo of a shark swimming down the freeway went viral again. But the photo is nothing more than a hoax that has been circulating since 2011, which is nothing more than a uh, doctored image. Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's just really fat. <laughs> okay. Number 10. Oh, number 10. Oh, now we can use yeah, the countdown. Yeah, now we can use it. Now we can use the countdown. I thought you hate, or oh, it was Jack that hated these. Yeah. Okay. Gmail isn't going to send you boxes of your emails. Back in 2007, Google announced Gmail Pamper, which would print out hard copies of your emails. This was supposed to be a way to poke fun at late adopters of the digital era. And, but what most readers eventually found was a page where Google admitted that the page was all a joke. No trees were harmed in the making of this hoax. Number nine. Don't try to charge any device with Gatorade and an onion. What? Right. I thought this one was the dumbest one out of all of it. A video stated making the wor- the rounds in 2008 purport- purporting that an onion soaked in Gatorade can charge an iPod. New stations caught wind of the viral video and even tried the experiment out themselves. I, w- I would like to see a video of that. I kind of do too, but it sounds really dumb. Do you think Quinn will try that with her new no. iPad? No. Okay. No. Please don't repost social media permissions. Internet hoaxes from internet hoaxes from the major social media networks are famous for promising to protect your photos, your friends list, activity, and more. 
all you need to do is share a post and you're safe, right? Not so fast. Right. But most, but people all still fall for it, including some high-profile names like former U.S. Uh, United States Secretary of Energy Rick Perry. <laughs> yeah, but Rick Perry's a dumbass. <laughs> We've all known that. So hoping that you would say something. Yeah. Half cat, full on hoax. In 2013. Oh, I remember this. I don't even, I don't even know. What number it. was it again? This this is number seven. In 2013, an image supposedly from Google Street View circulated on the internet claiming that a half cat was walking around in Canada. The image showed a cat with only two legs. Someone even launched a Kickstarter campaign oh, for wait a, a minute. book. This is something different. Have you seen the picture of the cat where one half of its face is black and the other half is like yellow, uh, oh, white no. and calico? I haven't seen that one. Yeah. That's weird. So... What's this half cat look like? Any uh, there's of it? no picture of it. There's just somebody's picture of a cat. Like nobody even put the actual picture okay. up on it, which I thought was dumb. But no, I, I never even heard of anything like that. Speaking of half cat, were you in the age group that um, had the cartoon cat dog? Yeah, I hated cat dog. It. I don't understand how st- so stupid. It was dumb. That's why I didn't like it. I thought I was just stupid. I was like, this is just how dumb. cat dog shit. I don't know. We need never never got that answer. Okay. <laughs> Facebook cash giveaways. Oh, I this love this. Yeah. Some dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Facebook, it's safe to say that most things that sound too good to be true on the social media platform, and for that matter, the rest of the internet, most likely are. Mm-hmm. There is no such thing as a Facebook rewards program or cash giveaway, despite semi-believable messages to the contrary. Do not answer these. Okay, so here's the thing that gets me on Facebook. You've seen this a lot. Yeah. They'll show a puppy, a cute little puppy, or a veteran, or something, and they'll have a thing. I bet nobody thinks I'm cute, or nobody loves our country, and no one will share this. <laughs> Do you ever see these? No. Well, your grandmother does them every single time. And they're fake? Well, they're just a they're just a meme of a puppy with someone writing, "I'm uh, no one loves me. I bet no one will share share me," you know, to pull on your heartstrings and stuff. Yeah, it, it's even a though meme. it's a stock photo it's of a, a puppy. It's a stock photo of a puppy. No one <laughs> gives a, veteran. a shit. Yeah. <laughs> this one I thought was fun. Sorry, but there's no new season of Friends on the way. Ah. Long before Friends fans got their long-awaited reunion on HBO Max, rumors spread all over the internet to about the a potential. Oh yeah, to yeah. the max, a potential new season of the show. The most believable hoax surfaced in 2017 when a Facebook post by David Schwimmer, mm-hmm. quote unquote, uh, made the rounds announcing that the cast was reuniting to shoot a new season. Eagle-eyed fans noticed that the Facebook account was newly created and spelled Schwimmer's name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's. It's a healthy snack, Larry. A healthy snack. <laughs> Do you remember that? No, I don't. From Curb Your Enthusiasm. He was so funny in that. That's hilarious. Hotel Helicopter, an April Fool's Day video. If you thought that you could enjoy a luxury hotel while on a helicopter ride, you definitely fell for the helico- hotel helicopter coax and hoax in 2009. Here's how the story goes. A company supposedly spent five years converting the world's largest helicopter, a modified Soviet Mil V-12, into the first flying hotel. The video and website were actually a viral marketing campaign by a hotel search search site. First off, who the fuck would want to stay in a helicopter? I don't understand. (laughs) Who the fuck would want to do that? Let's listen to this for a second. Okay. Oh, yeah, I gotta go to funeral. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Are you okay, to, you okay to move and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, so I was in this grocery store a few days ago. Yeah. And uh, I saw a bag of uh, your dad's uh, cashew raisins. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Did you get it? Yeah. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of skipping on the cashews a little bit. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Well, it's like four cashews in a whole bag, you know? An affordable snack. An affordable uh, snack. That's it. Wait, why you? You saved the bag. No, I didn't save it. I'm going to the funeral. I need a snack, actually. They're very good. They're delicious cashews, but you know, would it kill him to put three more cashews in there? I mean, 
the tennis shoes are expensive, first of all. Um, there's a, you know, there's a shortage right now. Yes, cashew it's, shortage? it's for the last several, actually the last several years. I've never um, read about a cashew shortage. Well, that's because you're not in the industry. Can I give him a little piece of advice? Please. I would call it raisins. <laughs> and then let people be surprised by the cashews. <laughs> <laughs> you're not serious, right? Yeah. I am, yeah. It's better than being disappointed by buying something called cashew raisins. We could put more in there, but they charge you a lot more. That's the balance. Well, I we know. want it to make an affordable snack. Right? <laughs> right. An affordable, affordable snack. snack. Give me three more cashews in here. I'll be a happy man. Then I think you got the right ratio. That's all. No big deal. An affordable snack, Larry. <laughs> an affordable snack. <laughs> I've actually never watched all of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I love that scene. That I love the interaction. And if you ever David bring Schwimmer, up David Schwimmer again, I'm going to play that. Does his dad really own a... I have no idea. Yeah, I okay. Yeah, I thought maybe it was... That's real. Okay. All right. So number three. Number three. Sorry. Please. Jeez. All right. No. You cannot buy human meat online. Mm. This is a real fucking thing. Yum. Back in 2001... A website debut called manbeef.com, which advertised recipes and tips on preparing meals out of human meat. Thankfully, this detailed cannibal site was a hoax. The site took on a life of its own as word of mouth about it spread. The creators of the site made an announcement stating that they didn't allow customers to actually purchase meat products, just souvenirs. <laughs> First off... What the fuck? Why is there so many cannibals out there? Why do people believe everything? I don't know. The Broom Challenge. Another one with NASA. Plot? What? It's called the Broom Challenge. Okay. Another one with NASA's backing. The Broom Challenge made headlines when a tweet circulated that a broom could stand on its own for one day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Due to the gravitational pull from the Earth. Mm -hmm. Despite tons of videos and national attention from news outlets and celebrities, the reality is, why the fuck is this a story? <laughs> but I added it, that part. Can it do it, though? No. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a fucking broom. <laughs> NASA's warning of six days of darkness. Oh, no. This is an old hoax that made its rounds again in December 2020. In an article at the time, NASA supposedly confirmed that Earth will go dark for six days. It did sound legit with quotes from a NASA director about how people should prepare. Um, and NASA confirmed that the article was a hoax and one that has been popping up over the past decade. Wow. That was it. So that was it. Huh? Those are your internet hoaxes, fellas. That's wonderful, Drew. Um, um, but we're not going to fall for them is what you're saying. No, because I'm hoping that the people that listen to this have a brain. What makes you think that they do? I don't know. I it's susceptible. People are susceptible to scams. I am uh, also one of those people. Have you ever fell for a scam? I have <laughs> fallen for a scam. Tell us all about it. <laughs> I'm not getting into details. Okay. All I know is is that I'm a dumbass, and I'm more, and I've educated myself. <laughs> okay. I've learned my lesson. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> uh, you know. <sighs> I don't want you to fall for a scam. I don't think that's good for anybody. But it shouldn't. I, I do have a way that you can actually uh, earn some money. And uh, I want you to... You, have you know about this Jeffrey Bezo guy? Yeah, he's finally gone to space. He's gone to space. He's too busy to you know pay taxes or, de or a decent wage anybody. But he can go to space. <laughs> he can go to space. And so the story that I'm interested in telling you about is one with a bunch of commercials, it looks like. Uh, it's CNN story. And you can cash in. You don't have to be rich to cash in on the space race. I don't believe that for a fucking second. Well, I'm going to tell you all about it, Drew, because this is this is finally your way to... Wait, does that, did that old lady get to go? Yeah, that old lady got to go. That's awesome. This is the gap that opened up when everything shut down. At U.S. Bank, we can help oh, you adapt talk. your business. It's because kind of when you close thing, the gap, yeah. a world of... Pop so here's the story. Average folks may not be able to saunter into space like Jeffrey Bezos just, just yet. But the frenzy around exploring the final frontier doesn't have to be an alien territory for the typical Earthbound investor. 
the Druze. <laughs> Several publicly traded companies and exchange traded funds have shot into orbit, capitalizing on a growing fascination with space. So, you can, um, the, the procurement space ETF, which debuted in 2019 and trades under the ticker UFO, owns Branson, Branson's Virgin Galactic. So, here's, the, here's what I'm trying to get at. You need to invest in this stuff. Yeah, I probably should. Because they're going, and they're going out of this world. So, how do I buy stock? You go to your stock broker. Oh, because I have one. Uh huh. <laughs> and you say, "Hey, hey, Gary, buy some stock." For Actually, me. his name is Trent. <laughs> the index managers are looking not just for companies that aim to send wealthy tourists into space. The real money from space launches is likely to come from the increased use of satellites for communication and internet services. This is gonna be intense. It's like. It's like we're sitting on a pot of gold <laughs> that happens to be above us in space. <laughs> you know what? If this is going to get me off of the planet before Apophis, the meteorite that's supposed to hit us mm -hmm. in 2039, yeah. then definitely. The, the, they all went to, you know the about the California gold rush, right? Yeah. Okay. They all went there to get gold. Do you know about when they all went to Texas for... Uh, Texas tea. That's called oil. <laughs> I was right. going to say, I was like, what? Where else, where else have people gone to make their riches? Um, the ivory trade, ivory killing trade. elephants. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, oh, the slave, slave trade. Slave trade. <laughs> that was good. That was, yeah. that was quite a thing. Tobacco. Um, tobacco. Uh -huh. um, taking people's land from them that used to be there. Mm -hmm. There's so, quite a lot of uh, shitty things. So, coal. Right. Coal. And here's what I've noticed, okay? That particularly who were who were who would you describe were the group of people who did this mostly? Mostly white aristocrats. White men. White right. men. Okay. Lots of white men. Now. Honkies. With you, money. You and I are in that category. Yes, we are a couple of honkies. We have yet to Enslave, take land. We're very woke. We're not into that. We haven't done that yet. We're not into that. How are we keeping up as white men? This is our opportunity to go to space, <laughs> take over the moon, maybe take over Mars, get those Martians out of the way. So what? You're telling me we're going to enslave Martians? Absolutely. That's what we do as white men. I, I guess it'd be the other way around. If they came into us, we'd be enslaved. The Martians, there's no... They got nothing up there. We've Listen, already they're seen not what's John on there. Jones, okay? We're, they're not going to come here and be nice and shit. No, no. We, there's no Martians. The other aliens that will eventually take over are not from this uh, solar system. You oh, know you don't I mean? think so? No. I'm thinking there's aliens on Jupiter. There could be. Or, I or think there's life the on Jupiter. There's no way because we don't know. I feel like there might be life on Jupiter. There's no life on Jupiter, but there's pop there could be life on How one of know? the moons. How do you know? Because I, someone told me about it. Who told you? I'm right now. I'm Phil. Who told you? Yeah, I was telling him about doing everything like that, and uh, yeah, it, it ain't happening. See, oh, okay. so Kermit told me, no, there's you couldn't live on Jupiter. Okay, you can't live. There's too there's many, too many storms. Yes, but you could, or maybe perhaps one of the moons. Okay, one of well, the moons. Which which moon? Titan. Titan, I think, is the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, one, there's one the size of Earth. Yeah. So. Anyway, we need to do our part. Space is our way. Sure, there's all kinds of problems down here. <laughs> there's quite a lot. What did you think of the Bezo thing? Did you? Well, I thought, you know, I think it's cool. If I had money, that's definitely something I'd be investing in. Mm -hmm. um, I agree with their way of thinking. Yeah. But uh, compared to Bezos, I think he's just doing for money. Yeah. Musk, I feel like, actually really wants to go to okay. space. I can't wait to see his incarnation of it yeah who which one uh either one of them no elon musk yeah i mean because branson's feel like, been up yeah now bezos has been up we're waiting for uh elon musk to go up now granted musk is doing it for money too let's be real but i feel like his he feels i don't know i feel like i have he get off more genuine of like hey i really want to go to space and you know so amazon paved the way is one of the biggest companies in the world if not the okay yeah Jeffrey Bezos is the richest man in the world. 
but he has his wife is second. He has put down. He has put down uh, lay, uh, union organizations and facilities. They don't treat their workers great with breaks they and do stuff, not. and they don't pay them enough. Nope. Plus, they fa- figured out that he didn't pay any taxes. If he would just do those three things, I would be all on board with. This guy's amazing. He's a go-getter. He's exploring things. Also, good for him. But drop your new current girlfriend, man, because her chin literally will probably sink your ship. Her chin? Why? Is it sharp? She's just she's just not good looking. She's just so much plastic surgery. It's just like quick. God. Right, take a look at it. Real yeah, quick. you gotta take a look at that. Take a look at that. It's uh, it's a no go for the Drush. I'll go for his ex-wife though. She's cute. And she's cuter now that she's rich. Her name is Laura Sanchez. Lauren Sanchez. Sure. She's just really not that attractive. She's, uh... Yeah, look, I mean, do you see how much plastic surgery that chick's had? Oh, my, yeah. Yeah, it's quite a few. Wow. She's very plastic, and it's just like, eh. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Nope. Oh, wait, that's his wife. His wife is more natural looking. His ex-wife, you mean? Yeah, his ex-wife, sorry. Yeah. Pardon me. Yeah. So, yeah, um, anyway, just, I don't know. Yeah. I think it's amazing that that we're, he's, these guys are trying to push the envelope. Absolutely. And they're trying to do something new. Yeah. I think it's great. I think it's good for all of us when that happens, when yeah. people are like that. But, man, just pay your taxes like everybody else, and then I would feel a lot better about it. Right. You also, know? Musk, work on your, in, on your rocket, man. Make sure it doesn't explode, dude. I think he's working on it. Oh, I bet he is. I think he's working on it right now. Yeah. He probably is, man. So, are you going to cash in on the space race? Yeah, I'll cash in on the space race. Because I was told on this show Mm -hmm. that the only time Paul will ever take another trip with me is if we go to Jupiter. I'll go ahead and amend that to one of Jupiter's moons. Moons. Okay, that's fair. Okay, one that has life. Because remember, we talked about it once in the show that there are 11 super Earths out there that we could easily colonate. I'll, I'll go, I'll go to Jupiter, and or any of their any of their moons, uh, moons with okay. you in 25 years. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> we've had a lot of fun. <laughs> had a lot of laughs. And here is now the why dude to tell us something that we should learn. I wonder why. I wonder why. Now, it's time to learn why. Today's question comes from Dudley. Ah. Dudley asks, Why, dude? Why is it that there are grapes and grape juice, and there are prunes and prune juice, but there are no raisin or plum juice? Mmm. Well, Dudley, as you know, prunes come from plums, and when you need a little extra stool activity, you reach for some (laughs) prune juice, not plum juice. Also... As you know, grapes can either be raisins or be fermented into an adult beverage. So, Dudley, would you rather drink plum juice or and raisin juice and be sober, or would you rather get drunk and take a dump? Now you know. <laughs> I think it clears it up. I wondered why. I don't know. That's I a... wondered why. Now we know why. That's the why, dude, exclusively. Do I want to take a shit or do I want to get drunk? On the week review. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a tough thing. It's, it's tough. I mean, because, one, I could take a shit and feel like crap afterwards because, well, I've ingested so much prune juice. Mm-hmm. Or I could get drunk and feel like shit later. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to be feeling pretty crappy. So you're going to do both of them, right? Yeah, I guess I can just do both. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's healthy, though. Well, would I be pooping wine? It's worth a try, I guess, right? It's a great question. I guess it's an experiment for another day. Yeah. So, folks, we're going to take a break. Fantastic. And we're going to come back with uh, some commercial reviews. You love them. You know them. You love them. You can't live without them. And uh, it will be a lot of fun. So, we will be right back with more of KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. That's right. It's true. We will. (laughs) 
could be a weak week. It would be a W E E K W E A. No, it'd be a W E A. A guy can't even spell. Well, it's W E A K W E E K. W E E K. Go ahead. Let's. This is fun. W E A K W E E K. I can't do it. W E A K W E E K. Or is it? Oh yeah, is it W E E? Yeah, I'll do it. I, I get it. No, I'll do it, man. W. I, I thought of it first. W E E K. Is that what you're gonna say? Looking at the past seven days, so you don't have to. It's the week review with Paul and Drew. You could join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. Hey, guys. It's your old friend, Mac. Mac Harrison, station manager and vice president of syndication for all that is KCTK Radio on the station broadcast of the world to the wise. Hey, you know we've got a lot of sponsors, and I want to take a thank you out for the time to tell you about Thank You News. You're a sponsor, you pay me money, and I put your advertisements on the air. Thank you, but what we do is a special thing at KCTK Radio, especially with the dummies, especially with the professionals at Paul and the Drew. What we do there is I supply them with your names of your commercials, and what they do is they try to be funny about it. Whoa, creative, right? Yeah, my idea. Anyway, that's what you'll hear today in this show. I want to shout out to the sponsors. Thank you for giving me money, and uh, good luck to Paul, Drush, and whoever else tries to be creative and funny. Come on, make it funny, guys. It's all about the money. Hey, 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 everybody! It's it's me, it's me, David again. And uh, I I bought a I bought a commercial on here. What's up, Dave? Hey, so do you like flags? Sure. Yeah, I make flags. I make. Sports flags, state flags, flags for your ship. I make lots of flags. But you know what I don't make? Dreams come true. What? <laughs> oh, wait. I'm sorry. I, I do make dreams come true with flags. So, come on down to David's Emporium of uh, Flags. It's on 40 Highway. It's brand new. It's in a shack. Uh, it, it, I, I do wish that I had some air conditioning and, and ventilation because the ink has gone to my head and I think I might be addicted to sniffing it. Um, yeah. So, come on down and, and get a flag. Dave's flag rule. Come on, 40 oh, Highway. He's got lots of flags. Really they're all red. Huh. They're all the same size. Are they? But they're flags. They're, they are. I make them really good. Can I use it as a cape? No. They're only for flags. They're red for flags. Flag. That's, that's it. Sir, you're really scaring me here. That's really intense. Dave's flag. Oh, God. Flag. Oh, God. flag. I think I just piddled in my pants. On oh, 40 bit. Highway. Oh, man. If you love real sports, sports that will knock your socks off, then I've got something for you. The Kip Dream Team. Take me out to the ball game. That's right. Kip KC opens his first school, Kip Endeavor Academy, in 2007 with approximately 75 grades, 75 fifth grade students. Now Kip Endeavor has grown to serve students in kindergarten through eighth grade and is currently educating 600 students. But in the fall of 2021, Kip KC will open their first high school beginning with ninth grade. Kip Endeavor Academy serves students in every zip code. But now, they're ready to play football! 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 God damn. And they don't have a field. That's right. These amazing athletes are playing in a car? Port? Place? Parking lot? What? Well, you could solve this problem by participating with $40 per person in an awesome event. It is the Kip Dream Team event. And it is July 31st at 4 o'clock on S Road. 
actually, it sounds like I'm joking, but this is a really good thing for fundraising reception for Kip Casey Legacy High School Sports and the Fighting Gators football team. There'll be food, music, and a band and some celebrity guests that you may want to mingle with and raise money for a great cause. That's Saturday, July 31st, 2021 from 6 to 9. And it will be on S Road. If you want more information, give us a call. 913-735-0060. Sponsored by the law offices of Phil Lovoda and KCTK Radio. Come on down. Hi, everybody. This is Paul. And you know what I'm going to talk about. Talk about. I know exactly what you're going to talk That's about, right. Paul. The KCTK radio app. Fuck you! So I'm looking at my phone app, okay? I have so many apps on my phone. Because they're free, you download them. But I'm looking at this, okay? It takes up a lot of memory. Chap Snap. Chap. <laughs> Snapchat. Snapchat. You have, chat. You, have, you have Snapchat? I mean, I let my girlfriend use... Wait, what? Okay, you're making it funny there, but yeah. you've hit a point. Nobody uses Snapchat anymore. Yeah, no shit. Okay? I got it on my phone, and it's using 490 MB. What's MB? Megabytes. That's a lot. That's a lot of megabytes. No one... I don't use it. It used to be part of social media. I'm a TikToker now. Life goes on. And you keep all of your dick pics, so you don't need to worry about Snapchat. So, I'm going to easily get rid of that and get myself the KCTK radio app. How Guess much is the radio app? Well, it's free, but what? also it only will cost you 35 megabytes. Say what? That's right. So save your phone, get rid of the old apps, and get one that you actually use for once in your godforsaken life. The KCTK radio app. That's all you need. Just go to your app store. If you have Apple, if you have an Apple phone like an iPhone, you go to the Apple store. App Store. If you have Google, you go to the Google Play Store. If you have another kind of phone, I don't know what what's wrong with you. Get get one of those two at least. Right? Do it. Do it. <laughs> the KCTK way. Okay, but I mean, who else has phones like that? Children. Someone has a different type of thing. Oh, if you have the new Freedom Phone. What's a Freedom Phone? Go to KCTK Radio app. I don't know. Some jack thing that... <laughs> Trump was talking about. <laughs> anyway, so check it out. It's a free app. It's fun. You can listen to great programs. You can even participate in... The Greg and Heidi Show. John and Heidi? The John and Heidi Show. Yeah, but, you know, you can listen to even fun show. We had a great show last night with uh, the Tracy's Tips and Dips live from Lakewood Local. I do like me some dip. I don't know. You don't seem to be helping. To it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole point. I'm trying to add some flair to this. Okay. This is a great commercial. <laughs> Thanks. You're KCTK welcome. KCTK Radio app. Get it. Get it now. And get it good. Oh, welcome back. I flubbed those two things. You flubbed them hard, bro. Do you know about this thing at? at no, I don't know about it. it. No. Nope. It's weird because I've been to S Road before and there's not much room to go play some football. You know what? It's next. You Except know, next... maybe the dude that I know that lives on S Road's front yard. Yeah. <laughs> next week we'll talk more about this. We'll play the even news clip. Yeah. But it's a good fundraiser yeah. that uh, that someone's having. Um, it's at the, at the home of Phil and Lynette Lavota. It's only forty dollars, and uh, I'm going. I'm going to have a good time, and I hope everyone can show up. That sounds great. Yeah. Should I have? Should you have some all-stars there? I should think I show the, the kids how it's done? I think the KCTK radio all-stars would be great. should have Jack there so he can live out his little dream that he didn't get to play football. Yeah. Did he? Oh, that's right. <laughs> what a Jack like. Also, I want to mention something, too. A real sponsor. BS Barbecue for your pulled pork. Oh, Love. it's so good. It's so good. You can get pulled pork, and they can cater it, and it's delicious. It's pretty awesome. Give them a call at 816-885-1034, 
As for uh, Uncle Brent, and uh, like he's doing his, he's doing a, a, a wedding coming up here. Oh, awesome! Of uh, the Larkin affair. Oh, okay. You know about the Larkin affair? <laughs> Sadly, yes, I knew exactly yeah. what we're talking about. So it's about. it's gonna be great. It's you know the used, Larkin affair. His is for the Larkin affair. I think he's doing pulled pork, which is the specialty. But there's all kinds of catering, ribs. Uh, any of that delicious meat that you care to put in your mouth. I do like meat in my mouth. And then if you want, you want some delicious desserts, Paul's Cakes are available, um, and all kinds of other stuff. So, again, BS Barbecue. Get it just like if you're, I don't know, instead of going over to uh, Jack Stack, Jack all up in your face stack, <laughs> Just stacked cater, all up. Cater your 25 people to come over to your house with some BS barbecue. You'll be glad you did. Absolutely. Okay. Full bellies and and uh, big smiles. Yes. that's Wow, that should be a good, <laughs> their slogan. I love that. Full bellies, big, big smiles. smiles. <laughs> hey, you know, you, you have seen nonstop. You've seen two thumbs up. You've seen um, five stars. You've seen... Um, What's the seen, porno one? Five dicks? Yeah, big, yeah. And then you've seen, you know, like a Let's Eat KC. They talk about their food they like. Um, but there's only one group of people, and that group of people is me and Drew, who <laughs> review not restaurants, not television shows, not movies, not plays, commercials. Well, we have done movies. You and can't only, speak, say something a lot. Nope. We only do commercials, and no one else has ever reviewed a commercial <laughs> but us. That makes sense. And they have a couple of doozies for you. I love week. it. Now, we get requests from our listeners to do some of these. And you're not going to be surprised by this, but we don't get a lot of, hey, I love this commercial, review it. It's more so like, wow, look how stupid this was. Yeah. This this one sucks. Talk about it on the Every show. Every chipmunk in the place this sucks donkey dick right <laughs> and this is one that we've we visited before um leaf filter oh the leaf yeah guys? the one that was racist yeah clearly racist but he's back oh, but good. now he's sitting with furniture in the front yard so here he is this one's called we leaf, call this guy a fuck boy leaf filter gutter cleaning Gutter. So, Paul. What? Oh, we're talking about gutters. What was life like before leaf filter? Oh, wait a minute. Did you catch that? <laughs> so, talk about leaf blowers. No, listen to what he says first. Nothing gets in water. So, Paul, yeah. we're talking about gutters. Cool what was name. life like before leaf filter? Well, for starters, I hated cleaning those nasty gutters. <laughs> Clogged gutters caused so much damage to my home. The roof leaked. The basement flooded. I mean, me and that ladder did not get along. To be honest. <laughs> okay, so they're sitting with some very nice cushy chairs in the front yard of their house. I wouldn't say those look cushy. Those look very plastic. Okay, but they look like it's like a Oprah Winfrey set, but yeah. it just happens to be in your front yard. Yeah. Okay. That's dangerous. I would. Cr and, and first, you see the guy named Paul, who seems pretty cool. He he seems cool, but he's probably a douchebag. No, he's probably cool. And then a uh, young African American lady. And then now this older couple. White they're, couple. They're wearing sweaters. Cringe every time we had to climb the ladder to clean the gutters. What do you like? Okay. What you were seeing now is this old man. Old man <laughs> and is cleaning the gutters. An old woman's looking at him. When you've ever done anything outside, does your wife come out there and look and even help you? No. no. She just sits in, her, in the house exactly. and watches TV. Right. And if you, she hears a thud, she may do something about it. Yeah. She may do something about right. it. But I can tell you right now, she's probably not going to do anything about it. Unless I haven't come back in like an hour. Right. Unless she wants you to do something. Yeah, then she realizes, oh, I need this done. Let's go find Drew. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. He oh, fell he off the roof. Because <laughs> he didn't have leaf yeah, guard. because he fell off the roof because of leaf guard. Well, this one's like they're helping each other. That's fiction. Most about leaf filter. <laughs> That's a load of bullshit. Free Paul inspection. Paul? The ins Paul's what a back, dick. everybody. <laughs> what a dick. Installation, the lifetime transferable warranty, and hey, I don't have to get back on that ladder again. Leaf filter <laughs> just works flawlessly at filtering out leaves and debris. So how has life changed since leaf filter? How has life changed? <laughs> Would you, I mean... I guess the question is... It's a good product. Okay, let's just say... It is a good not product. Not being able to clean your gutters would be good. 
right. could change your life. I can tell you right now, it wouldn't impact my life because I don't clean the gutters as much as right. probably I should. I mean, I, I think I have lots of trees in, in my I have area. Lots I'd so, like to do so two two times a, a, a year is the absolute most you would do it. Yeah, and I call the guy. Uh, what's his name? I'm gonna find his name and give him a plug here. The guy that cleans your gutters. Yeah, I'd like to get one that uh, those robots you can just put in the gutter and just clean it out. This guy's better. His name's Matt Porter from Crown Services Gutter, and he'll come out. You give him a hundred dollar bill, and he'll clean it. And he'll do it, do it up. And he'll do it real nice. Nice. So I should give him a call. Mm-hmm. Now, now leaf filter. I mean, you. I guess you'd buy it. I don't even know how much it is. Five grand to say. Sure. So that's five years. I would. I would make. I would save money if I got it. Right. Over five. After five years. Yeah. I ain't, I'm not doing that. No. Okay. I'm just not gonna do it. It's less complicated. Because it doesn't change my life. Right. Uh, right now, I'm sorry. The whole, it's less complicated. Gutters? Yeah. Really? They're yeah. Gutters. My gutters are clog free, and that keeps me stress free. And that keeps me getting getting my gutters on The only thing is it saves you money over time. Okay? Yeah, that's it. That, if it causes you stress. Guess what that five grand is going to? Something else. Right. Thanks to Leaf Filter, we were able to put the ladder away, and that makes us feel... Good. Good. So I take it you'd recommend Leaf Filter? Absolutely. Yeah, that, that, you that's a, a wild guess, you asshole. That You're guy, on the commercial. Yeah, she would do that. That guy has a very punchable face, like yeah. Tucker Carlson. All my neighbors already know. Leaf Filter is a no-brainer. All your neighbors, even though you're an actress, they know this. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or go to GetLeafFilter.com for your free gutter inspection and estimate. Call or log on today and save 15%. Of what? what? I want to know what the 50%, 15% of thing. what? That's the thing. They're gonna, I call and it's going to be like, what, 10 grand? They're going to tell you gutters? each square, they're going to see something like each square inch is a dollar. And you're going, that's not much. And then they're going to configure it. And you're gonna owe them like twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, and I'm on a rental. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck right off. That's right. So I anyway, I, I thought I want to play it again. I want to give them another chance. Nope. What would you rate it? You know, what I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a soft two. Soft two. Because it's got me wanting to get my gutters cleaned out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it a soft two. Yeah, as well. To- soft two. It's two. like a one pump and dump kind of thing. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Or one pump, I went limp. Sorry. <laughs> See, they suck. Okay, and they we, really but, suck. But we like to give, we like to try to give some of the people that we've given trouble to another chance. And here's one I just thought of that I want to do. It's Liberty Mutual. Oh, this fucking guy. Oh. And this is called. Liberty. This is called. Double Dutch. Now, if you remember, this is the same background. You loved Brad. About Brad, who we hated. I hated so much. And then you totaled him. And then there was other ones that came on with the same background. I'm trying to think what the other ones were, but they weren't good. Uh, Wet Teddy Bears. Wet Teddy Bears. But By the way, that's the dumbest fucking idea of a commercial. It, it, Why the fuck would I buy a Wet Teddy Bear? Right. Like, it makes no sense. It's not even funny. Right. It's just like... You it's not even up, funny. They could have come up with something different. Like, I make, I don't know, wet teddy bears? That yeah. was what you fucking landed on? Yeah. It's fucked up. It's weird. It's, it's really stupid. It's stupid. And this one's stupid as well. You see three kids, and they're doing the double dutch. Actually, they're not doing double dutch. They're jump roping. Double dutch implies two different No, that's the Dutch rubs. rudder. Going along the same time, and they're singing the Double Dutch Bus. Oh. Which is a great song. Mutual customized car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. How much money can Liberty Mutual save you? One, two, three, four, five. See, now the kids they were counting. They're really old kids. They didn't get any taller. But they've been playing this for so long that they're old people now. You know what's funny? This is like, like... A three-year-old came up with this. <laughs> you know? 
Daddy, Daddy, you know what would be really funny? If we have a jump rope contest and we all age yeah. and old. I was there so long I got older. You know yeah. what's funny is is that I don't see the post-apocalyptic world that they're living in if they're that old. Okay, the Statue of Liberty should be in the should be replaced by eight people, uh-huh. and the right. robots should be flying around. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yep, everything hurts. Only pay. Who writes these things? I'm telling you, man. I say the same thing all the time when I watch like comic book movies. It's like who the fuck wrote this? Yeah. Like I could have done better than this. Put me and my friends and my uncles in the room, and we'll make a fucking super. I would movie. be if you if you came like, let's say I didn't see you very much, and you like came back in town, your big Hollywood guy, and you came and said, "Hey guys, I had a new commercial. It was that new Liberty. <laughs> I <laughs> wrote the, that with the kids." I'd say you're a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I don't ever want to use Liberty Mutual because of these commercials. Right. Here, let's see if we can find um, a different one. The one that we were talking about. Now they got Liberty Mutual. Oh, this fucking guy. They got the Lemu and the Emu. Yeah, this fucking guy. Huh, look at me. That's all I can talk about. I even had a barbecue. Not everybody wants the same bear. thing. That's why I go with Liberty Mutual. They customize my car insurance, so I only pay for what I need. Okay, hot dog guy in front of the same set. Yeah. Then we know it's going to be a wet teddy bear. But why isn't like a hot dog with chocolate sauce? Right, chocolate. Yes, sauce. That's I so have good. a hot dog with chocolate sauce. Yeah, it's like with that's whipped cream. Strange. Yeah, it's a banana split with hot dog. Like yeah, that I, I would have been like, oh okay. I mean, even it's, the guy was like, mm-hmm, why yeah. not? <laughs> It's, it's with ice cream. It's something you could eat. It's something strange. It's something you may not eat. I don't have banana splits. I do hot dog splits. Yes. Like something yes. fucking weird. Right. And yeah. it's weird enough. Yeah. You wouldn't want it. It's melted all of the, the ice cream. It's a, like a, a bowl of, mm-hmm. of melted ice. Like I would have been. That sounds then, fucking hilarious. And then the guy eats it. Yeah. The guy's like, yeah, fuck it. This is delicious. Soup now. It's soup. Yeah, he loves Chocolate it. soup. Neat. Because I do dogs. things a little differently. Hey, I'll take one, please. But no. It's a fucking wet teddy bear. <laughs> Wait, this isn't a hot dog stand? No! Can't you see the sign? Wet teddy bears. Get your- Also, this guy's clearly schizophrenic, okay? He's he's selling Jesus. wet teddy bears. Also, this guy walks away with the fucking wet teddy bear. I would have thrown it out and be like, get fucked with your You know what would make bear. even better? If it was just teddy bears. Right. Yeah. Or broken teddy bears with, like, weird eyes. Like, something creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Wet teddy bears? Wet teddy bears? I sell voodoo dolls. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we could sit here for the rest of the time and come up with better ideas than wet teddy bears. I sell lizards here. <laughs> wet teddy bears, one hundred percent. Why would you walk wet, away with a dick? Or the next one's on me. Only pay for what you need. Would have thrown it back in his. Okay, you what, didn't even pay for it. So what do you give that one? That one? That's a soft zero. That doesn't even deserve yeah. anything. Yeah. That. That, it's that's, not even me willing to get up. Yeah, it, it it's like it's it's not even to a two. It, it went back into. <laughs> yeah, it went back into me. I've I've now turned into a <laughs> vagina. <laughs> that's, that's exactly. I mean, what we didn't happened. have to go that far. Oh come on, that's funny. Okay, so that liberty. We oh, so we tried, we tried to give live fil- live <laughs> liberty <laughs> leave filter. Oh, we tried to give them another chance. They failed miserably. They failed, and then we tried to give. Uh, Liberty Mutual, another chance. Failed. And they, they failed miserably. You know what I mean? So bad. It's terrible. So. Oh. You have failed this city. <laughs> David, I don't know what it is about your face, but I want to deliver one of these right in your suck hole. Again, you know, you're doing great in a great time. Everybody's having fun. You pulled it off. All right. But if you don't change your face, I'm going to change it for you. <laughs> you blew it. You had it all and you blew it. You blew it. You blew it. You blew it. You stink, and I don't like you. Okay. <laughs> so let's try another product. Okay. This one is brought to you by Toyota. <sighs> and a young man by the name of Jack, who happens to be all up in your face, told me he saw this commercial. He immediately called me <laughs> and said, this is the worst commercial I've ever seen in my life. Please review it. Well, I watched it. He is correct. It is the worst commercial I've ever seen 
in the history of China. It may win the week review's worst commercial ever. Now, remember, everybody, we're not... If you may be sensitive to us talking shit on this, the show may not be for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, let's get into... We're we'll have to play it several times. It's called... It's Toyota First Date. <laughs> Okay, what we see is a high school. First, we see a high school. We see three, I'd say, we say junior high or would you say early high school? I want to say, I say high school. Early high school. Yeah, they're like ninth graders or tenth graders. They're ninth graders. They're young people and they're going in, they're opening. Pre teens. Pre teens. Pre teens. Yes, Yes. and they're, um, they're at a locker. Go in their locker. Like everybody. Jeez, man. And then there's a robot. <laughs> then we see, how would you describe that? I would call that a giant cell phone on a base charger mm-hmm. with um, four friends. There's a kid who clearly is in a hospital room and yeah. in a gown, which is weird because he didn't even bother to dress up for this. Right. Which I thought was a little strange. Um, so he seems like a nice kid. Okay. I want to make that clear. This seems like a nice kid. What we're talking about is how shitty the commercial is right. as a whole. So what you see right now, if you're not watching, imagine a five foot cell phone. Yeah, it's pretty big. Okay. On top of a big Zumba. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's a great example. Okay. Of it. And it's yeah. rolling down the hall and it has the Toyota logo on it. Well, what do you know? <laughs> and the, there's a picture or a video of a of a guy who is in um, hospital room. hospital clothes. He has a broken leg, and he's interacting with the people walking next to it. <laughs> okay, he rolls up on this girl. Also, is, we missed we missed one vital thing. Okay. In the background, there's a sign that says Olympic uh, dance. Olympic dance. Okay, or good. whatever the hell. Yeah. Maya. Okay, now he's talking to the girl. Okay. So he is in this cell phone, which I want to know how his parents allowed him to take this to school. Also, this thing doesn't fucking exist. I want to make that clear to everybody (laughs) Okay, because I've looked it up. It does not exist. It was a prop. Um, So he's asking Maya, the girl at her locker, Yeah. a question. Oh, first you forgot the... Like he's so nervous. Oh my god, he's he's nervous. And then you got these two dickheads in the back that clearly are the assholes of the school. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 I think they're oh, all assholes. Oh, oh. So it rolls up on this girl at her locker. Right. Literally rolls up. Not rolls up. Not like hey, I rolled up on her. No, it no. rolls. He is on wheels. Right. Hey Mike. And she says, "Hey Mike." Now check her out for a second. Okay. She. Is a young woman, I believe, it is my thought, that they made her put braces on to make her look younger. Right. Right. And look stupid. <laughs> they're they're very pr- pronounced. They're very pronounced braces. <laughs> Those are really in your face. Yeah. <laughs> so she says, hi, Mike. She's the cool girl of the school. And by the way, what would you do if it came... You wouldn't say, oh, hi, Mike. You'd say, what the fuck is this yeah, thing? Like, wait, are you fucking kidding what me? What the fuck is that? Hold yeah. on. Everybody stop what you're doing. Why the fuck is there a cell phone on a Zumba? <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Ain't enlarged. Right. The thing is, this thing could be one of the moms disguised as <laughs> to get inside the school. Oh, that's right, because <laughs> security's terrible at school, uh-huh. and every mom needs to go out there and uh, and act like their daughter, who's 13, and prove them wrong. Right. <laughs> I was thinking, if you want to go to the school dance with me? He's asked her to the school dance. Okay. All right, let's pause for okay. a minute, pause. okay? What's she going to say? We all know the answer. Okay. Do we? This girl is an obligated. This, this girl dance. is got obligated to say yes. That she has been put front and fucking you know what? center. That's a good point. It is. It is. It puts her right on front street, doesn't it? Yeah. Everybody's around. Okay. Yep. If she says no, she's this guy a real become, cunt. This guy's gonna look like they're they're gonna look at her as a cunt. Yeah. They're gonna look at this guy as as a basket case and sad. Yeah. And they're gonna give him sympathy. 
she's going to be a social pariah. So basically, again, a man pushing himself on a woman. Another example of sexism That's right. at its best, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you're being sarcastic, but I think it is. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Would you want She has to say yes. There's no way this girl's going to say no. Would you want would you want your daughter to be put on the spot like that? Fuck no. Oh, I'd okay, be like, "Listen, okay. If he came to our house and asked you, that's different. Okay. But he's obviously doing this. You feel obligated and sorry for him. Okay. He's on crutches. He's in the hospital. Now she. Now, he doesn't look sick. Right. By the way. No, he doesn't. He looks look sick like he's broke his leg. Yeah. So, do you think she thinks she's going with Mike or the machine? She Who did she just say yes to? I think she said yes to the machine because first off, no one's ever seen this machine before. Uh huh. She could be. The queen, the belle of the ball, <laughs> walking in with this giant fucking cell phone on a Zumba. Right. <laughs> totally. Experience the moment from anywhere. Well, Tell you another thing. This dickhead has a broken leg, right? Why the fuck do they have to? Why do they have to spend money on this machine just so he can ask a girl to go in the next day and do it? Right. Or here's the thing. Oh. An actual Maya, fucking I'm in cell the phone. hospital because I have a broken leg. FaceTime? I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> yeah. When you go to the dance with me? He's not that's wearing any do. pants. That's what you that's do. That's another thing. Now it's gotten weird. <laughs> okay? He's in a nightgown. Stop your impossible. A hospital gown with no pants. Oh, for all we know. Jeez, man. Yeah. For all we know. <laughs> for all we know. All we know. I mean, come on. Like... This is a dumb commercial. It's so stupid and so self-indulging. Honestly, it would have been it's fine so, if... It's so like Toyota, aren't we great? You know what you could have done? Here's a perfect example of a, of a commercial that could have worked for this. Yeah. He goes to her locker. He asks her out on crutches. And his mom picks him up in a Toyota. Right. They go to the dance. Right. And they have the time of their lives. Boom. There's your fucking plug. Right. The Camry. That's right. <laughs> mom right. picks him up in a Camry. Or a... Or a Whatever the fuck out Highlander. Who or, gives a or, shit? Or how about this? I can't go to the dance because my leg's broken. I'm not going to be able to drive. Well, with Camry's new safety feature, you can. <laughs> Whoa. There you Mom's go. Mom's got it covered. Mom's yes. going to take you to the dance. Right. Because she's got herself a new Toyota. Toyotas are good cars, too. Yeah. Or you show him how he broke his leg. He was staring at Maya because he's obviously in love with her. He just don't. And he, he was, like, skateboarding and broke his leg. Yeah. Boom. And then, then they, uh, oh, Mike, I heard you were going to ask me out to the dance. Won't we go ahead? Or how yeah. about she asked him? Yeah, there, there it is. Switching roles. Right. Holy shit. Whoa. He says, hey, <laughs> I was coming to go to the dance, but I broke myself. She shows up at the hospital. And, and she shows up and goes, why don't we not take skateboards? I'll drive my Toyota camera. <laughs> Boom. They're Yay. 16. Right. They're 16. And the woman saves the day. Yeah. Boom. <sighs> I just hate commercials so much. I do too. Now, you know what I really hate commercials the most in? Because they're not like ours. Okay? Because, you know, we take, we, we take them good. Mm -hmm. Okay? I hate listening to podcasts and having to listen to just commercials. When it's, yeah. Right when it's getting good, it cuts off. Yeah, which like, which ones do you hate the most? Um, I'm not a big fan of Squarespace. Yeah. Um, what was another one? Uh, green. Uh, something to do with like oh uh, oh um, Blue Apron. Blue Apron. Yeah. Fuck right off with that shit. Why don't you make your own food? Yeah. Uh, Hello Fresh. Yeah. I tell you what, I listen to the ones I listen to. Comedy Bang Bang, Phil Hendry. And now I've been listening to Conan O'Brien. All of them basically make fun of the uh, commercials. The commercials. That's great. So that's that's why I like that a lot. I do. That's the thing I like about Last Podcast and Left. Did they do? The they same? read their own commercials. They have like Adam and Eve, which they make it fun. Like uh -huh. they actually like do what we kind of do as like improv. Yeah. Like, they, they actually they steal it. Yeah, from us. it's fun. Yeah. Now, what about the fact that not only is she a tall? white girl but he's a short black kid with all that weird hair he has he's got an afro he's got the fro i just think they're but they're making them both look frumpy they're making them she's both got giant braces he's got crazy different hair. and crazy yeah. and that's how kids are nowadays they're unique yeah. 
That's fair. I don't know. Let's watch it again. I'll find other reasons I hate it. Okay. <laughs> Yellow lockers, am I right? Yeah. Oh, I hate that so much. He couldn't do this the next so day? Much. He's so nervous. He couldn't do this the next day? There it is. Perfect. Right there. There's a pizza skateboard. Uh -huh. He could have slipped on pizza while on the skateboard. Yeah. Boom. There's your commercial. Broke my leg. Hey, Maya. When isn't I was that on my your way. daughter's middle name? Maya. Uh, it's spelled different. Uh, hey, Maya. Hey, Mike. I was thinking... If you want to go to the school dance with me. Does he have an accent? Also, is this his parents rich as fuck to have this Zumba yeah. cell phone thing that you can just take the fucking school off your yeah, breaks one totally. leg? Experience the moment from anywhere. Toyota. Off, Toyota. Start your impossible. Just fuck so, right off. So stupid. <laughs> when there's phones, there's cell phones also, in this world. If that's if this is pre COVID era, shouldn't all kids get this? Shouldn't all kids be in robots? It, Cell phone Zumbas? It just is it's just absolutely we have them. They're right here. <laughs> we have them. Here I want to text you something real quick. Hey Drew, you wanna to go to the dance? Oh, um Fuck, no. sorry, um I'm gonna pass. <laughs> See? That wasn't so hard. Yeah. And, and I didn't put you on the spot. <laughs> none of my friends were staring at me and weren't judging. Okay, so we have um Man, fuck off Toyota. <laughs> That's so funny because that's exactly what I feel about. That's how I want to say to you. When I see commercials, I really hate. I worked for Toyota for 11 years. Oh, yeah. So I have every right to say as much as I want about that fucking place. Yeah, but I also say eat this. my dick. When I see a lot of commercials, I, I go, I, oh, fuck off. <laughs> like, what oh, I say. fuck off. Yeah. So you don't even well, get... what color was it, bitch? So what, what would you give that? Zero. Okay. Not even zero. a soft or hard, just a zero. Zero. Okay. Flat. I give a zero too. Flat. All right. Fuck we got, off, Toyota. We're, we're it worked up, and now we're back down. Now we're gonna take a small break. I'm gonna have a depressant, and then we'll be back. We tried. We tried to give them a chance, and I don't even know if Toyota will be able will be allowed to even be back on the week review again. We'll see. We'll see. No but promises. I can tell you this. They're not going to be on the rest of the show. Okay? No, no shit. All right. So we'll be right back with more KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. It's very sad what's happened to Paul, the way he's being treated. I've never seen anybody treated so poorly. Join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. Hi, guys. It's your old friend Paul from KCTK. Hi, this is Chickless Goose from Counterclockwise KC. Listen to our program each and every Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m. right here on KCTK Radio. Personality Driven Radio. Hey y'all, this is Bert Gorman, advisor about radio and spirituality to kctk radio and i'm here to explain something to you something to you very special now when they say if it's dead air it's kctk radio that was my idea and here's why first we don't care so much about wasting time and for money we're here for you for entertainment and i said go ahead and it doesn't make a difference if there's dead air we don't care. It's dead air. That's what we say right here. I tell everyone, we don't care. It's dead air. But most importantly, we do it for you, the listener. Because usually the dead air happens like before or after a show. When things are getting from pre-program into live program. Or if we're doing a commercial or something. 
And a lot of times you need that extra beat, that extra half step, the extra time to breathe and say, oh God, the week review started. Or, oh God, Tracy stinks. I'm glad that show's over. You need that dead air time to meditate. But I'm Bert Gorman, and I'm the one who said, if it's dead air, it's KCTK Radio, and we do it for you. So next time you hear dead air on KCTK Radio, that's your prompt to take a deep breath and get ready for the next program, or be thankful that the old dumb program is over and you can move on with your life. KCTK Radio, you know what we say, dead air don't care. When they have to take a breath, and they need to think about with a higher power of KCTK Radio. That's right. If it's dead air, it's KCTK Radio. Hey, this is Shay from The Power of Investing in People with Shay Sparks. Listen to my program every weekday at 1 p.m. Central right here on KCTK Radio. Personality Driven Radio. Welcome to Man Shopping with Stacy, the single mom's guide to happiness while dating in your 40s. On this show, I share my real, transparent dating and life stories for your amusement and inspiration. You can listen to my show right here every Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. on KCTK Radio, personality driven radio. And welcome back to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. What up? Did you hear all those ads for our new shows? Yeah. Do you remember it was just... I said, man, I really want to do a podcast. And you said, I'll do it with you. Yeah. And now it's a whole... I'm KCT. Bert Gordon. Yeah, he's our spiritual advisor. I think that Bert could turn me to Jesus. You think so? No. Oh. Well, he could try. Okay. You, you're, so... Back to all the different new, new shows. You don't care about any of this. You started all this, Drew. I know. I I, I think it's great to how much it's evolved in the What years. if I said, hey, hey, Drew, man, I, I want to do a podcast, but I got nothing to say. No one will do it with me. And you would said, sounds like your problem. <laughs> then that would have been the end of KCTK Radio. Yeah, I would have been like, man, that sounds lame. Yeah. But I didn't. Thanks. And now, look where I'm at. And now? Penniless. <laughs> the number one thing. You're, you know, do you remember... Uh, must see TV. Oh yeah. The news of the Druish is kind of like the Cosby Show of that. Oh, you did call me the Cosby Show because it's it's important part of that night and the rape charges. <laughs> Great. So go I'm ahead. Glad that news we know where Drush. we stand. Everyone knows. Everyone loves <laughs> the news of the Druish. All right. This one's from Fox News. Everybody, we all yeah. know they're a reliable source. New York Democrats accuse Chick-fil-A of discrimination. Want to ban it from rest stops. Democratic legislators in New York are opposing plans to open Chick-fil-A restaurants at rest stops in the state. Citing the fast food chains past donations to groups accused of of opposing same-sex marriage. Listen, we all knew Chick-fil-A was homophobic. Yeah. We all knew that. Okay. We Uh all know they're probably white privileged assholes let's all be real but damn is the chicken not just delicious so what are they mad about the right wingers or the left wingers are mad um says the democratic legislators so those probably okay so the more liberal so, people i don't know exactly what labels yeah, to put on that because they're not they're not good to gay people yeah i mean they aren't um here's the other thing and i know you love the chicken but they also they're not they've taken they've taken a a company belief and say they're not open on Sundays. Right. Okay. They think that they're uh they're the uh, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> they're Hobby Lobby of chicken. They want their employees to be that's their family day. Yeah. That's great. Good for you. But man, it's a rest stop. Yeah. You go to a rest stop, you need some food there for some people. Yeah. What if you come rolling in on a Sunday? Because what all, what of a sudden if you're Mike and you're in your Toyota thing <laughs> and you roll in, <laughs> you won't need anything because you got back at the hospital. Because oh, here's okay. the deal, all right? You're there to get Chick Fil A for you and Maya, so you guys have a cheap meal for the dance mm-hmm. because you guys aren't even 16 yet, right? But if you change the commercial Sunday. and made them 16, they drove to Chick Fil A. 
Maybe they were under. Maybe that's why they made them under sixteen, because they couldn't drive a real Toyota. How about this? Let's just scrap the whole idea and change it up and get some older kids. Yeah, <laughs> you know it'd been better with really old people. Okay. I broke I broke a hip and I, want, <laughs> and I wanted to invite you to. Okay, so anyway, we're back anyway. to Chick Fil A. So Chick Fil A. So anyway, I don't think I think I would say. Listen, we need restaurants that are open open yeah. when our rest stops open. Yeah. Listen, you guys are homophobic dickheads, okay? Right. But we also need a restaurant that's open on fucking twenty four hours a right. day, okay? You're not that. Yeah. So, fuck off. Yeah. So fuck off. Fuck off. Guess what we're getting Popeyes. Yeah. Suck it. Now, have you have you ever had the Popeyes? I have. Versus. The- I will say the only thing, the only reason why I like the Chick Fil A spicy chicken better because you're a homophobe. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I, I am it. not a homophobe. Yeah, um, is they just put sauce on the Popeyes chicken? It's uh-huh. not baked into it, so there's really no Look flavor unless you get a a, a bite of sauce. I'm talking to a guy over here who has to have his sauce. Baked but I in. would like to try the chicken. The chicken is good. I've had it. Is it? Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to try the spicy one. I would put it in this. I would put them in this. Okay. Order, put it in okay? order. Let's put it in order. I'm gonna do number one. Okay. Okay. Number uh, one. <laughs> number five. The number one best chicken sandwich is Popeyes. Is indeed Popeyes. Okay. I mean, okay? the chicken itself is number delicious. Number two. Yeah. Is the chicken. Yeah. Wow. Number three, is the KFC. I hate KFC. It's good. So bad for you. Then, then coming none of this fourth, is good for you. Actually, coming in fourth is Chick Fil A. That's fair. Now, Chick Fil A. I'm going on taste. They still would be number four, but they lose a little bit when they. I got to put my own damn mayonnaise on my sandwich. Oh, I agree. Although I put Chick Fil A sauce on mine. Okay, you have to put your own sauce on. Right, I like, agree. And you're some type of like I can't ask I'm for some it, just idiot like driving down the street trying to eat my sandwich. Right, and just squishing it. Yeah. You have to take this cardboard or plastic thing yeah. and just pinch it to halfway so it all comes out. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's a pain in the ass. That's what I like about you know other Chick Fil. I mean Popeyes. You don't have to do that. The sauce is already on it. I'm gonna get myself a Popeyes tomorrow for lunch. Man, I really, I really think you should just go have a Wine Brothers again. Oh, yeah. I had a Wine Brothers for dinner. So in fact, you're, if you're here at 7 o'clock, ready for the show to begin. All right. Let's finish I this. Was, I was eating my Hawaiian <sighs> Brothers. I was so jealous. Yeah. You're such an asshole. I know. So Chick-fil-A, through the charitable wing of its business, has a history of donating millions of dollars to organizations that are discriminatory and anti-gay organizations. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, That's why do you know like that. them so much? I'm not homophobic. Mm-hmm. Bronson is now launching a petition against adding Chick-fil-A restaurants at rest stops along I-90 as part of the three through whoa through way authorities of 45 million service state modernization project. That's so, helpful. He was also among three openly gay Democratic legislators who sent a letter denouncing the plans to executive director of the New York State through way authority, Matthew Driscoll. Well, that's fine. I mean, I <laughs> totally agree with you that um, you can't have a restaurant that's not open on Sundays. Yeah. Because I agree. A truck driver's been driving all yeah, weekend right. since, let's say, Wednesday. Yeah. And he finally and he hasn't gets eaten. He hasn't eaten. He hasn't eaten in three This weeks. motherfucker deserves <laughs> to have whatever he wants right. at this rest stop if there's a restaurant. Right. And guess what? It should be Chick fil A. Yeah. Because it's not going to be open. Well, and if they're not so open. So then what's he supposed to eat? Grass? Yeah, <laughs> right. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. Come on, Chick Fil A. Yeah. No, if they say you know, listen, we're just not gonna be open on Sunday. Okay, then this isn't this isn't for you. Then. <laughs> yeah. Guess what? You're not part of the the three way uh, authorities uh, project. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> The freaking Colonel Sanders will be. He's got no problem. He's open all the oh, time. Oh, no. He doesn't have any problem. He had no morals since. None. Since right. 1800s. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you threw it out the door. Yeah. He, he, he's he's a piece of shit. <laughs> but, he'll, but he can feed you. That's for damn sure. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Let's hold on. Let's back up. Now I've just, cut, I've just grasped at something. Uh-oh. You're going to sit there and give me shit for liking Chick-fil-A sandwich, even though I'm not homophobic. But yet you're going to tell me that that asshole didn't have slaves that cooked that chicken. We didn't have slaves. He didn't steal that recipe from somebody. I'm Listen. He's a white man. Listen, I'm not criticizing you for um, eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich. I've had before. 
criticizing you for your blatant homophobic <laughs> I'm not homophobic behavior and your support of organizations that tow your right wing <laughs> radical wacko points of view. You know out of everybody in this room, I am far from that. Everybody in the room? You, 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 and you all know that I'm... You're right, like, you're right. He's, he's worse than me, yeah. that's for sure. That's for damn sure. I'm very oh, conservative. you got to bring Kermit in this. Kermit's more racist than anybody. I'm part of the moral majority, pal, okay? I'm not racist. Oh, wait, I am. Okay. <laughs> he's a dog. Dogs are racist. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Are they, no, mine aren't. My dog, Wally, is. Yeah. Asshole. I didn't even he make is. him that way. He is, yeah. And so was Einstein. <laughs> yeah. So Well, Einstein was made that way. So, you're telling me the history of Colonel Sanders, he had he stole the recipe from some black folk? Yeah. Is that a true thing, or are you just saying no, that? No, I'm making it off of Undercover Brother with Dave Chappelle. Uh-huh. He's like, slaves cooked that chicken. Okay. I believe yeah. it then. I believe Dave Chappelle. Who, are, who else can we believe in this world? We can't believe anybody but Dave Chappelle. He's okay. the only straight shooter anymore, man. He's the only one that could say what it's on his mind, you know, justice for juicy and shit. You yeah. know, he's like, you know, he's the only thing that's cool. I think you're right. So listen, I'm going to leave you with this. Okay. This story that I heard about today. Chimpanzees have been observed attacking and killing gorillas. What? In the wild for How the first the time. How the fuck is that possible? Researchers working in the... Lago National Park in the West African country of Gabon witnessed two lethal encounters in which conditions of chimps clashed with guerrilla troops, and their findings were published this week. I think it's called Gabon, but is it? I'm just gonna guess. I'm sure it's not Gabon. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you know, a foot fungus cream. <laughs> you know what? You don't know what it is. You don't either, you said gay bond, like... I know, but I didn't criticize you. <laughs> I read it. I'm guessing it's Gabon. Okay. You're probably right, <laughs> but you don't know for sure. It could I be don't. gay bond. There's no D. Bond. There's no... Gay bond. There's no D. <laughs> there's I said gay, gay bond, anyway. Oh, okay. But now I'm saying gay bond. So it's bond. a... It's a foot fungus cream... No, going out to homosexual community. No, it's it's a uh, it's a member of Her Majesty's Secret Service, Gay Bond. Okay, double O sixty nine is his number. <laughs> okay, all right, double O sixty nine. So, so the chimpanzees are attacking attacking the gorillas. Yeah, here we go. I don't think that you can see it very good. <laughs> But there's a fight going on. And those chimps. I'll tell you what they're doing. They're kicking gorilla ass is what they're doing. They're really not. Well, you can't see it, but that's what's going on here. Oh, there's the gorilla. Did you see him? Yeah. I kind of feel bad for him. He's getting his ass kicked, dude. They're all over him. Holy shit. They say in this report is that they have learned, they've learned how to do this. Oh, okay. And they're using, like, sticks and stuff. It looks like they're using battle tactics. Yeah. Why did I bring it up? Because <laughs> we're fucked. <laughs> we it's are always going to end with you talking about robots, aliens, <laughs> or apparently squirrels. But now... We are living in Planet of the Apes hey, times. <laughs> if the chimps can figure out how to fight a higher species than them, the gorillas, <laughs> and when they're done with them, what the hell makes you think they're not coming after us? They are. The Planet of the Apes is coming. <laughs> this is the first indication of it. They're going to incorporate the gorillas. Do you remember the Planet of the Apes? Yeah, a virus hit. A virus hit. Thank you. And then uh, we invented a serum that made chimps more intelligent. Yeah, but they, there's a serum somewhere, but they did it <laughs> themselves. But the gorillas were like the soldiers. Yeah. The chimps were the ones running were, the place. Running the shit. And, this and then the orangutans the, were the philosophers. Right. This is the first indication of... Us being fucked. <laughs> now, I've talked a lot about, yeah. will robots or the aliens get us? 
I think it's going to be the chimps. It's going to be the chimps. <laughs> We're not have to worry Fuck about... Fucking Caesar's going to come through that door, and he's going to kill us all. Right. <laughs> We don't have to worry about aliens coming because we're going to be long dead because the, the chimps will have to deal with it with their robot army because they're going to be able to incorporate their robots and so, get them in line and co peacefully coexist with the robots. Are you saying right now we may be witnessing evolution coming to fruition? Yes. These animals are now evolving. I'm also saying that we're fucked. Okay? <laughs> Did I mention that? Uh, I think you said multiple times, we are fucked. Right. We are super fucked. Now, we also have a mothership in Las Vegas. Okay? We've got robot kids in, in school mm -hmm. trying to ask out the, the cool girl, chick of the school. Mm -hmm. Okay? we got chimps. Army chimps. Yeah. Army chimps attacking gorillas. And I feel Squirrels like, with the Black Plague. We and, are fucked. And I feel like since we have this platform, we have to tell people this stuff. We do. And this is... Also lizards in grocery stores. Let me just do this real quick. <laughs> this, this just in. This just in. An entire... Hold on. I state my regret. <laughs> you couldn't have memorized that? I could not because I do not feel it. No. Here's my here's my Mia Copa, my yeah. apology to everyone. Okay. Several years ago at a kid's birthday party, I sat peacefully next <laughs> to Savannah the chimp. I love that chimp. Ah ha, 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 ha. <laughs> that's my point. That's what it wanted you to do. Love the chimp. Sit there and hug my knees. It's for a birthday party. We should have saw the sign right there. <laughs> that chimp came in, was the life of the party. Everyone enjoyed it the most. She was taking it, notes. Taking notes. It was fully, it was, it was, I'm trying to write jokes for the party, yeah. you know. It was weird. She asked me about my military history, and I'm like, I'm 15. I don't have a military right. history. Because she cares about people. Yeah. I didn't see it coming. I knew she was advanced, <laughs> but I didn't see anything about it. Isn't Savannah gone now? Well, Yeah. <laughs> She may be gone, but she has led. She is the person. The, the, she sees her. She is the catalyst for all this that's going on. Sounds about right. And what's really sad is these fights with gorillas. They're it's just like a it's just like a, a test. <laughs> you know, it's like Kim Jong Un shooting a rocket exactly. in the Pacific. Exactly, that's okay? right. It's a test. It's not. It's nothing against the gorillas. It's letting mankind know <laughs> this is what we're doing. Hey, assholes, come in here, and we'll attack you with rocks and fucking sticks, and you won't be able to kill us because we're in fucking trees. Right. And guess what? We also make camouflage. So eat our dicks. Mm -hmm. Ask the gorillas how they feel. Oh, that's right. They're dead. So. I guess with that said, I do want to end the program by telling Scaring you. Scaring you. All hail Savannah. <laughs> all hail Savannah. Savannah is. All hail Caesar. <laughs> Her name's Savannah. I know. She's Caesar. I know, but she's not called Caesar. She'll kick your ass if you call her the wrong name. All hail Queen Savannah. Is that better? Just say all hail Savannah. All okay? hail Savannah. Jordan. We're gonna fuck it up, for <laughs> Okay. Do you hear the song that's being played, dude? <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is a monkey one? <sighs> that guy is making millions. We should have made a Dave Baby Shark song, dude. You know how much money we've been making right now? Shit. Hmm. I'm going to ask you a controversial question, but I better not. I, I'll, I'll ask the question, but I don't want you to answer. Okay? Okay. Do you follow... Are you now going to be a follower of Jesus? <laughs> or, or Savannah? <laughs> <laughs> don't answer that. What a great let's, show. Let's stop the show. <laughs> and uh, if it's not the chimps, the robots, the chimps, aliens, the <laughs> squirrels... We'll be back next week. <laughs> or the mothership that's in fucking Vegas. <laughs> oh, that's true. That. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back next week with more KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. Thanks for joining us. Bye. It's fucking scary. <laughs>
produced by Paul Lavoda. If you want more information about this content, then you have some real weirdness going on. You can always check out KCTK Radio on Facebook. Listen to live programs at kctkradio.com. Yes, and that is on the World Wide Web. Thank you.